Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson International Airport is once again the busiest with 5.7 million passengers now flying through the ATL every single month. So why did the airport bulldoze its busiest firehouse to the, uh, the, the one closest to the domestic terminal? Revealed Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe discovered that decision caused ambulance response times to take off. Atlanta 911, what's the address of your emergency? Airport. Atlanta Airport. Yeah, Atlanta Airport. Airport Walking into the terminal, there was a family maybe 50 yards in front of us also walking in. I heard something. It sounded like somebody dropped luggage. And then we watched this woman fall. So I took off running. There is a woman who has fallen and is her North Daily Level 1 airport parking deck. She was non-responsive and wasn't breathing, and so I called 911 while my brother went to go find an AED inside the airport. One was running, one was calling, and I was doing compressions. Did help arrive immediately? No. Fire Station 32 would have been the closest rescue unit that morning last December. So why didn't Engine 32 and other rescue units get there sooner? because the firehouse was gone. The airport bulldozed Station 32 a year ago to add passenger gates. There were five rescue stations ringing Atlanta's airport. The closest to the domestic terminal, Fire Station 32. With an advanced life support fire engine and an ambulance, it has a drive time of less than one minute to the middle of the terminal gates. But now, Fire Station 32 is gone. The next closest fire station is on the other end of the airfield, Fire Station 24. It has a drive time to the middle of the T gates of more than five minutes. That adds four minutes to the total response time. The next closest station is on the south end of the airfield, Fire Station 40. It has a drive time to the middle of the T gates of more than seven minutes. That adds six minutes to the total response time to the domestic terminal from the now closed Fire Station 32. The city said the loss of the firehouse is temporary, and in the meantime, they're staging personnel and equipment inside the concourse and along the terminal roadway, and they're confident the airport will not experience any degradation in services. Did you break your leg? Just hours after the airport released that statement, a 76-year-old passenger fell in line for the main security checkpoint. It's been about 12 minutes since the fire. Yeah, they're notoriously slow. I don't know if she fell over somebody's baggage or what, but it looks like her left hip is dislocated. 39 minutes. I mean, we're still standing by for the ambulance with the uh, stretcher. They anywhere close? Where are they coming from? The injured passenger was forced to sit on the floor in the middle of the main terminal for a full hour with a dislocated hip because there was no ambulance available. So that tells me you only have one ambulance working today? Still not enough to cover. When you got 65,000 employees and 250,000 passengers coming. Yep. But you already know that. <laughs> the documented drive time for Medic 1 from the now closed Station 32 would have been 57 seconds. I don't know what their ETA is, but you need to get this lady up off this floor. Instead, it took more than an hour and a half and three tries, ultimately getting an ambulance from another city. We're still waiting on a mass transport. This is, the this is the busiest airport in the world. We analyzed data from thousands of medical calls at the airport before and after the closure of Station 32. The displaced EMS units are now taking 65% longer. That's an extra three minutes and 40 seconds per medical run when every second counts. Construction on the replacement for Station 32 is slated to begin soon in a different location near the South Economy lot, but it won't be done until the end of 2022, leaving Atlanta's airport without a rescue station near the busy domestic terminal for two and a half years. So why doesn't the airport prioritize ambulances, even making them park behind fire trucks? Because Hartsfield Jackson's operating certificate depends on how quickly fire trucks can get to the runways, not ambulances. Wow. Wow, wow is right. Yeah. Um, I want to add some perspective here. That 76-year-old passenger waited mm -hmm. an hour and 35 minutes for an ambulance. That's longer than a flight from Atlanta to New Orleans. And, you know, just think, what if it's a life-threatening situation? Someone has a heart attack or, or something related to that, and it takes an hour and a half just to get an ambulance there? That is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah.